Mina, konnichiwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, coming at you with a little bit of Exodus, and I know that's not the Psalms, and that's not where I've been, but for those of you who don't know or are new to the channel, or maybe just haven't watched those particular videos where I mention it, I actually am in the habit of not only reading the Bible every day, but writing portions of it every day as well. It mentions in one of the verses in the Old Testament, in the Mosaic Law, how when Israel does get a king over themselves, that that king is supposed to handwrite the entire law, a copy for himself, and meditate on it day and night. So since that is a kingly pursuit and a kingly business, I'm like, you know, it talks about all of us being kings and priests in the kingdom of God. So I'm like, you know, I feel like this is a, a way for me to aim for the top, to aim to be the very best Christian and to be the best me that I can be. So I'm going to do myself a handwritten um, copy of the entire word of God. I've been doing it for several years now. I'm in the book of Exodus, obviously. And I'd say, one, it's a really good discipline. It's something that I haven't dropped in several years. Probably the only discipline I haven't dropped in several years. So I'm pleased with that. And every now and then, as I'm writing stuff down, something will just hit me and grab me. And this one hit me kind of hard. So I wanted to share that with you all today. And it is Exodus chapter 29, verse 18. And this particular passage, by all means, read above and below what I'm about to read to you because that will give you proper context. I'll give you a brief summary. Right now, God is talking to Moses about how Aaron and his sons are supposed to be consecrated for the priesthood and the service of the tabernacle at that time. And in Exodus chapter 29, verse 14, God says, But the flesh of the bull, with its skin and its offal, you shall burn with fire outside the camp. It is a sin offering. And when I read that, of course, the Old Testament and the tabernacle and the priesthood, all these things are shadows and types of heavenly and spiritual realities of what God actually does for us and through us. These are things that happen on a heavenly level, on a spiritual level. And these are kind of hints at what goes on behind the scenes, so to speak. And when I read this verse, it just kind of hit me t like a ton of bricks, like, wait a minute. A sin offering being burned with fire outside the camp. So we're not, you know, we're not around God. We're not around, um, we're not in the tabernacle. We're not around his people. This flesh, this, this bull that's been sacrificed, his flesh shall be burned outside the camp. And it's a sin offering. And that's a, that was a very strong reminder to me of what hell was. I don't know how the idea of hell came to be. I do believe since the Bible mentions it, it's a real place and a literal place when it talks about fire being there. I've always seen it literally. Some Christians do not. And I this verse just kind of shouted at me, you know, hey, hell itself, where the Old Testament talks about like some will rise up to everlasting shame. Not just the righteous, but the unrighteous will also be raised from the dead. I feel like this here, it's a shadow and a type. It's a hint of hell of those who continue to walk in sin, of those who are not forgiven. Sin is taken outside of the camp and it's burned with fire. That sounds, it, it, whenever you talk about hell, it's a little bit of a creepy, scary analogy. There's nothing pleasant about hell. That's why it's hell. And when I read that, I was like, ooh. So those analogies, those types and shadows, those go all the way back to the beginning of the Mosaic Law. All the way back to the beginning, there were these hints of, Outside of the camp, sin is burned. It's burned, and it's separated from God and his assembly. So it is a little bit of a scary thing, but hell is a reminder to everyone that there are consequences for sin, and if you don't line up with God, if you don't accept his offer of forgiveness, it's not... I'm like, how do I put this? God doesn't want you there. He doesn't want you outside of his assembly. He doesn't want to burn you. But if you refuse to believe in him, if you refuse to bow your knee to him, he will kick you out of his assembly. He will not let you profane heaven. He won't allow you to profane his heavenly kingdom. Not that you'd want to be there anyway, but he won't let you profane it. You will be outside the camp and you will be burned with fire. It's a very scary thing and a very scary prospect. So let me just tag at the end of this. Not only has this been kind of like the mindset of the Lord from the beginning, 
please keep in mind, um, this was a sin offering. The sin offering, Jesus has already been sacrificed and slain. And that sin offering, much better than bulls and goats, rose from the dead and guarantees us eternal life in heaven with him. The goal of God is for your sins to be forgiven. The sin offering has already been prepared and slain. The goal now is for you to accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, to accept his sacrifice on the cross for, you, for the repentance and the remission of your sins. That's God's will. That's God's desire. Sin can be burned outside the camp, but the price of sin's already been paid, and God wants you with him at his side forever. Not only did he create you, he also bought you back at the cost of his own life on the cross. So guys, thank you for giving me the time of day by watching this video to the end. Thank you for hearing me out. Any questions, comments, leave it down in the com um, comment section down below. If you want to dislike this video and leave a hateful tr or maybe even a trollish comment, that is fine as well. All comers are welcomed here. So thank you very much for giving me the time today. Um, it's greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching this video. I do love you. So does God very much. And God bless.